I guess what I would ask you, uh, Adrian, uh, is what is some of the minimum documentation and details you would need from uh, a developer in order to begin the process? Well, that can I'll admit that can vary quite a bit, but fundamentally we need to get a good understanding of the property itself uh, before, uh, and then if we are in the process of assisting with the development approval, then we have to make sure that uh, we indeed support the project as proposed. And so from the landowner, we often just ask for whatever information on the property itself they can provide, surveys, any kind of supporting studies. Typically, when one is securing a property for development, uh, you know, seasoned developers know to do their own homework, their own due diligence, and will often have their own environmental studies, let's say, uh, confirming if there's any kind of concerns on the property. They may have uh, appraisals done on the property. They may even go so far as to have preliminary engineering work to understand what kind of servicing might be available. And that is all useful in, in helping us determine whether or not the property in question is appropriate for whatever development is being sought, whether that's uh, an industrial development, a high-rise residential subdivision, uh, whatever the case is. And, but of course, we always work for lenders like yourself. And in that work, um, it's our duty to inform you, provide you an opinion often as to whether or not the developer you're working with and looking to provide funds to can in fact achieve whatever it is that they're proposing to do. And of course, to give you some assurance that they can do it in a reasonable amount of time. And so in that regard, all the same documentation that I have just mentioned is great. But on top of that, of course, we would need you know, good details on what the proposal actually is, drawings, whatever has been submitted to a city for approval. Uh, we like to connect with their consultants. And then lastly, of course, we like to connect with the municipal approval authorities themselves to get their perspective as well. 